You know what I think is important too, and when, when you're speaking to certain groups, um, like I spoke at SHRM uh, when anybody was still able to speak in Vegas, uh, <laughs> what, a year and a half ago or whatever it was, at one of their major conference. And when you're speaking at certain things, you're not allowed to sell anything. You can't refer to, oh, when I wrote the book or I have this product or I, you know, there's no, none of that going on. They, they you're, you won't get invited back. That'll be the last time you get there. And those are, there's, there are a lot of uh, meetings like that. And it's almost like a Ted talk ish kind of thing. You, you can be an expert in a field and uh, you could say you research, like I could say I research curiosity and, and to that effect, but I can't go, oh, well, you need to take my curiosity code index or this. Oh, no, you know, no, no. Yeah, you can't, or you please read my book or, you know, you can't do any of that. So you can't even, you know, later they let you sign your books or whatever at the bookstore. And so there is some promotion, but you have to learn that there's times when you can say things about your products and then other times where you, you can't. And the, those kinds of uh, events, you will get uh, critiqued um, on your performance. And they send you at the end what everybody had to say. I remember speaking for a big online consortium in the day. Yeah, oh God, it was so long ago. I can't even remember. And um, maybe, maybe 10, 15 years ago. And I, I think somebody, I mentioned I had a website. I wasn't trying to sell anything. I wasn't selling anything at the time. But I just got my rear handed to me for saying just that I had a website and uh, I, I, it was a good lesson not to do. <laughs> there's a way, there is a way and there's a way. I mean, you really right. have to know. Right. You can say, you know, when I consult with people, I talk about this or that. That's exactly yeah. right. I was on a television show and they said, absolutely no promotion, right, no right. promotion at all. Right. And so I got it. OK, I was their guest. Mm -hmm. I was not the host of the show and you have to abide by their rules. Right. And they said, um, but you can bring your book, your latest book, if you'd like, and we'll just prop it up. Well, yeah. what good did, did that do? Because the book was propped up. It was very far away. Mm -hmm. No, there wasn't. The camera was not zooming in on, on the book. Right. So what was I to do? So I was talking about parenting and children and and self-esteem and and relationships for people and, and young women in particular. So what the, one of the hosts said to me, so Dr. Gilda, I understand that uh, parents are even reading your latest book. Didn't even mention what the book was. I said, mm -hmm. oh yes, especially dads. When they see the title, don't lie on your back for a guy who doesn't have horse, <laughs> then they had to, da, da, da. okay, so I figured. Well, okay. he opened the door for you. Well, well, they, okay, they were very gentle about it, but they yeah. weren't out and out promotional for me. Mm -hmm. And I figured this is the end. I'll never be going yeah. to be invited back. <laughs> so then, then I called the um, executive producer and I said, how did things go? She said, oh better than ever they would love to have you back so the way i did it was not look you have to buy this book because it's such a good uh -huh. book and da, 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 da. but i was able to throw it and i said it so quickly so they couldn't interrupt me don't lie on your back for a guy who doesn't have yours it's such a long title <laughs> what am i gonna say yeah, it's oh, a I'm really long title do. yeah <laughs> You, you, know you got good at that. I don't know if I, I don't even know my whole entire title, the subtitle and all in my books. I, I'd have to look at them. I mean, well, that's something that you can practice because no, no. you never know when you're going to have just this teeny bit of room to throw it in. Yeah. And I had a lot of book sales as a result of my being on that on that television show. But you have to understand that there's promotion by my book. This is what I do. And da, 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 and that is that is horrendous. Mm -hmm. You had interviewed some guy, I will never forget this, on, <laughs> on your radio show. And I he was from a, a foreign country. Oh yeah, I know who you're talking about. <laughs> even when he was speaking English, but I couldn't even understand him. And he was ridiculous. He went on and on and on and on and on. I couldn't, 
I, I didn't even know what he was saying, but it had to be 10 minutes of this gibberish. I know, it was longer. <laughs> oh, oh, ouch. He was actually a very nice guy, but he didn't get it. And he spent the entire show saying how great he was and what awards he won. And, you know, and I'm like, oh, yeah. And I didn't want to stop him. I think he took the whole hour actually doing that. Oh. Yeah, I think he did. And, but he he's really trying. He wanted to be um, like the next Tony Robbins kind of a guy. And he's trying. He's really trying. Uh, but I, I think, you know, it probably would help him to hear not to do that. Uh, and um, I, I don't know. I mean, some people like to be around people who do that. And I've been to these. Nobody likes to be around no, I've people. gone to masterminds where they all talk about how great they are the whole time and they all eat it up. And well, I'm are you part, you know, are you part of the masterminds. I'm not. <laughs> I got invited and I'll go just because I'm interested uh, sometimes. But um, I just initially went to a couple of them just to see what they were. And I, you know, it surprised me. I went to this one mastermind. I don't know if I even told you about this one. I, this guy was on my show early on and he was really nice. I liked him a lot, but he invited me to his mastermind here. Um, it was at the sanctuary up here and uh, it was a beautiful setting. Everything was really nice. And I got in there and I'm like, well, this will be interesting. He'll be teaching us how to market or sell or, you know, I, it was, he'd figured out the meaning of life and uh, he was going to tell you what it was. <laughs> And I'm like, where am I? And what is this? It was really fascinating, but people were really, really into it. I mean, into it big time. And um, I, 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 mean, I couldn't stay. I mean, it wasn't you, my kind. Well, how do you differentiate between an educational format and a cult? That was, you know, that was the closest I've seen to that kind of a thing. Um, usually they're, I always feel when I go to a lot of them that I get something out of something, you know, I'm learning like how, you know, like yeah. here's, here's five ways to market a book or here's five things, you, you know, and those things are really helpful. I think Joe Polish does a good job at his here at the Genius Network. You spend a lot of money to go to that though, you know, and I, but I've seen others, um, I don't know. I think, you know, masterminds are a big thing for a while. I'm very curious what the next big thing is because yeah, masterminds are not anymore. And I just saw <sighs> that one of the, these organizations that you and I often talk about and laugh about <laughs> is, um, is coming back. Oh yeah. Old. Yes. Um, and, and how you can sit there and listen to everybody go on and on and on. Well, or I think people want community and the, especially right now, that's the end. Okay. So that gets us back to how I pivoted my book for the National Enquirer uh, um, uh, health page. Okay. I positioned it as a health vehicle. And I am going to tell everybody out there that if you have a product and you're not thrilled with the sales, at this point, or it's, if it's a new product, or you're looking for alternative vehicles for your sales, try listing it as part of a different platform. For example, my book, Amplify Your Media Presence, Amplify Your Brand, is a, is a business book. It is a th theoretical, th theoretically, as you and I talked about it, as I was developing it, it was meant to be a business book, a business book on how you market yourself based on my interactions with my MBA students, my mm -hmm. executive coaching, my everything. Mm -hmm. In a million years, I would never, while I was writing it, have thought that this could be tilted towards the health arena. However, when I started to do all the research and find that people are absolutely exhausted with this new syndrome, mm -hmm. video call fatigue, mm -hmm. and they're inundated with things that they can't control anymore because they've never been taught how to do this. I looked upon this 
and the lack of productivity as something that can be solved through the health arena. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I